I'm stumped. It's not peeing. The water's coming out of here. There should be water coming out of there. Going to test a boat. It's one of our clients' boat. It's brand new pretty much, but they never use it. I think it's been six months, five or six months since it's been out. And they have begged us to go take it out and test it and make sure it's working. <laughs> and then put it away because they're still not going to use it. I'm going to go join Matt on this crazy adventure of taking the ride on this boat that has not not been started or anything in six to eight months. And somehow I've been voluntold to be part of this adventure. Hey, you tell me, what should we be checking when we get there? Leave a comment below. Remember, I'm not a mechanic, so I'm not sure exactly what we have to check. I need to make sure Matt's checking so I get home safely. All right, it's gotta be in here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Well, it, if... sounds, it sounds like you got power though. Yeah, something's beeping. Okay. Nah. Yeah, batteries are all dead. Yep. Let me put it on combine and see if that helps. Yeah. And if not, I got a battery charger. I got one. Over okay. There. Nope, it's not going to go haven't used the boat in like I said five or six months so all the batteries are dead and that's kind of the reason we're out here of course the day we take it out looks like it's gonna rain even though they say it's supposed to be sunny and no rain oh put it back to start yeah ready yep is this a fast charger yeah uh, yeah okay. yep it's more of a boost uh-oh, Houston, now I've got nothing. Did I turn it off? No wonder they're scared of the no, boat. I know what it is. You've got the um, plastic, you don't have the... Oh. Did I have it not on? Go. Try now. <laughs> yep, here we go. Okay. okay. Oh, Oops. just died. Yep, yep. it's not going to be happy for a minute. It's alive. Save the day. <laughs> so we brought a little box to put the paperwork in and the CETO cards. We'll just put that right up here. Combine the batteries, see if I can get anything to turn on. Looks like we got some power, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put some AGMs in here, two Group 31s. I'm gonna upgrade their power a little bit. Dad, do you think we're good? Yeah, we're gonna go. Uh oh, are we the guinea pigs? Yep. How did I ever volunteer for this? We might get wet of all the days. It's just a passing shower, right? I don't think so. It looks like it's pouring right up there. Yeah. Looks like we better hurry up. Look at this over here. Yep, it's raining over there. Of all days that we're out here. Well, we committed to a schedule. Did you go? How fast can I go? How fast did you go? Uh, it was up to about 25. Oh, okay. So this is like the sandbar when the tide goes out where everybody comes. When the tide's out, this is, sometimes it's all exposed. Oh, okay. See, it's only three feet deep here. Yeah, and it's super close. Yep. Oh, you want to see it go fast? No. No, I just wanted to get the backside. So got this Carolina skiff out on the water. 
Before we left, I just checked a few things as we expected. The batteries were all dead. Ended up having to jump those and then charge for about 15 minutes at the slip with the engine in neutral revved up. I did notice that the um, tattletail is not spraying water, so we'll have to probably drop the lower unit, put a new pump in, which it probably needs. It probably hasn't had, had that done. And I'm probably going to change out the two batteries in there. They're um, just group 27s or 24s maybe, and I'll probably put in two AGM group 31s just because of the way this boat is not, you know, it's not used often. I mean, like I said in the beginning of the video, I think that it was uh, been fi five or six months. Yeah, at least they said, the, the owners said it was last summer. I mean, what else would you guys check? Would you recommend the new batteries? I mean, the batteries are from 2018. And like I said, when we got in here, they were both flat dead. Nothing would come on. We had to jump it to get it to go. And like I said, I don't know, would you guys change the, the water pump in the lower unit? I don't think it's ever been done since 2018. Uh, let's see if I can find out how many hours this has on it. I don't know if it's hooked up to the Jeep the Garmin. This is not hooked up. That's too bad. I think I might ask them if they want us to do that. I might hook it up to their uh, Garmin screen. It's got all the stuff for it. So I don't know why they just didn't run a network cable and hook it to the engine control box. It'd be pretty easy. So I don't know how many hours the engine has on it. My guess is not very many. Um, this is a beautiful little boat though. Uh, it's a 21 Carolina skiff. Uh, this is like their special model, which where is it? It says ultra elite. So I don't know what that means. I'd have to look that up and see, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little boat. Well, we're going to head back. sprinkles again maybe we don't want to go do that mangrove thing huh <laughs> you tell me yeah so lucky it's just now starting to sprinkle like really good on us so that means that we didn't get soaking wet on this test ride. I got a list of things I got to do. We didn't get soaked. Nope, it's just starting to rain. Muffs. Need muffs for a job today. So TJ and I are just dropping this lower unit really quick. It's not peeing here. So I'm going to uh, change the water pump out and um, check this while we're at it. That was part of our discovery when we took this on a, when I was voluntold that I was taking this on a joyride. It was one of the issues that we discovered. And I think TJ replaced the batteries yesterday, is that right? Yeah. Yep. So we have two new AGM? Yes, ma'am. This is why I put grease on everything. You yank it out? Yeah, if you can. Jeez. There it there is. is. Jeez. There it was. So this is the pump? Or no, that's the dry, the forward and reverse neutral. Oh, shit. Okay. No gloves? Yeah. Just wipe my hands off when we're done. Lubing in it. Yep. It's got a keyway on it too. Yeah, it's got a keyway right there. Right. Yep. All the way down. So that's just the housing, inner housing. Just the impeller. impeller rides in this, yeah. So this gets put down in these grooves, and then this has that keyway. It can only go in one place, and it goes right there. And that's in all the way. Yep. All right. Okay. This goes back on here. 
like so. Hey, you know what? I've been telling Matt that it's probably time that we sell this F-250 Ford that we've had since the beginning. What do you guys think? I should probably sell that, don't you think? Nope. Oh, did you hear TJ? Nope. He said nope. I think I'm ready for a new one. Beautiful truck. You like that truck, huh? Oh yeah. A lot of guys would kill for that truck. <laughs> yeah, huh? Oh, hang on, TJ. What's up? Your bottom part here is bent. Where? The bottom. This. Oh, this guy? Yeah. Got it. I wonder what's going on. We got all kinds of planes here today. Must be doing some exercises. Perfect timing that you showed up again? Yeah. After TJ finished? Now that all the hard stuff's done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now we get to see if it runs, huh? I wondered about that when we... All right, turn it on. It's not peeing. The water's coming out of here. There should be water coming out of there. Alright, you got a piece of wire to you. Let's see what happens. I found something crusty. Oh, quick job. We'll only take an hour. Yeah. Never. Oh. I know. See another one right here. And another one here.
Oh, it's, it cleared. It's peeing. Well, it's peeing a little bit. It ain't peeing enough, that's for sure. I mean, that should be coming out of there like, let's do this. Yeah, but we got these holes. Got it. It's coming out there. Well, I probably, because I got the holes covered up down here. Oh. Any better? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh, so you felt stuff coming out. So that means that the water jacket's clogged up. Great. This is where the tattletale water comes out and it sprays out right here. So you can see that your engine is actually has water going through it and it's all plugged up. TJ rammed some wire up in there and it's peeing now, but I don't know. Yeah, it's peeing pretty good now. Push it forward. Rev it up again. All right. So you see that it's because salt water is getting back up in here because the boat, when it slows down, it um. Yeah, you can see some of the salt. DJ's going to dissect it. There's silver under it. It seems like there's a bunch of growth or something. Yeah. It's, so it's not rusted, huh? Let's see here. We can get this on here. All right, we'll let that drain for a little while and then we'll put some of this on there. Let's put the lower unit back together. Pretty sure that needs some oil. So what has happened is that the inside of this, the water jacket, which is the cooling jacket on the outside of the motor, has gotten cr crudded up. And that's why there was no water coming out of this tattletail. Um, what I'm gonna probably do is have TJ come back and um, we'll get the salt away adapter at the shop, fill it full of salt away and flush it through a couple times to uh, break up the crud that's inside. Um, we'll have to do We'll hook it up both in the front and in the side on the other side of the lower unit and just clean it all out. Screw this in that, take that out, and you gotta rotate this hose back a little bit the other way. All right, now turn it to uh, salt off. Turn the batteries off. Is your little boat ready to be used now? Should be. You got everything done yeah. for now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that it needs to be flushed more. Ah, uh, that's no good. Dang it. What's that? Well, hang on. This thing's still under warranty. The seal is blown out of the tilt trim actuator the tilt trim cylinder the seal's blown out that's why it's making air noise see that oh it's pulling air oh yeah all right uh let's put this prop on that's good that's good this way a little bit oh, back yeah back just like a sixteenth of an inch oops sorry okay now we can trim this back down All right. Batteries? Batteries, yep. Uh, let's clean up and get out of here. Um, this lower unit is the one that blew out and we're waiting for the new one 
but for some reason there's oil leaking out even though the oil's been drained so i'm not exactly sure what's going on but we're gonna tape a bag over it and uh tape yeah